Hello everyone, this is Arokya. This is Ansible tutorial series. So this first video would be a PPT presentation. The remaining will be a direct practice kind of thing. So first, uh, if you are seeing this video, you could have pro probably searched what is Ansible. So uh, you probably know what is Ansible. So just I am trying to explain in simple words. Ansible is just a simple automation language which uh, we use to configure how the machines should behave and uh, simply how the development operation should uh, work with this Ansible uh, engine. The second one is, as I said, is the automation engine. It uses Python um, as a scripting language and it uses Python to execute whatever the playbooks we are giving to Ansible uh, engine. Then there is one more component that is called Ansible Tower. That is enterprise framework and the main purpose is um, without Ansible Tower also we can run Ansible playbooks that is not an issue but the only advantage here is we can use the GUI uh, web UI based thing based interface to configure Ansible playbooks to schedule it to consume that Ansible playbook as a REST web service so all these additional capabilities will be included in Ansible Tower and the fourth point, whenever we comes to DevOps tool, and there will be one important point, whether it's agent or agentless. Ansible is agentless communication. For Linux servers, it will be using SSH connectivity. For Windows, it will be using WinRM, Windows Remote Management. And obviously, it's a secure and efficient tool, even if it is, um, even the files is being stored as a flat file, it has an option to um, encrypt the sensitive information, uh, for example, the usernames and passwords for servers and network devices and all. It has an Ansible Vault feature. So we, using a passphrase, we can encrypt the data and we can on the way uh, pass the password while we run a playbook. So it comes with a batteries included concept. Like there are a lot of Ansible modules available out there. You can simply download and attach to the existing Ansible engine and playbook. I can simply use it and uh, yeah um, there is no special coding skills required because uh, once we have to get into like how to create playbooks and also some basic things are there and for specific custom development is for example if there is no such option is available in Ansible which you need so in that case only you will be uh, coding this stuff and uh, for the general purpose Obviously, you don't need any special coding skills to use Ansible. And it's a sequential execution and uh, it has uh, optional asynchronous execution also across CAs. For example, there, is, there can be one task. It can be executed in thousands of machines parallelly and we can get the output of all the CAs at a time. So that, that also can be configured with Ansible. Okay, what can be used for? It can be used for configuration management, application deployment, and uh, assistance provisioning, and continuous delivery also we can use it. So all these points have uh, given here, what are the uh, possible options we can utilize Ansible. Uh, one of the main use cases which we have utilized is network deployment. So it worked well for network deployment. So there are remaining possible cases also uh, you have just listed out here, you can give a look. And this is a very simple architecture, this image I have uh, got from Ansible uh, documentation itself. The core automation engine would have uh, inventory and API and modules and plugins. Uh, the source, uh, I mean the input will be a CMDB or a private and uh, public cloud like Amazon, uh, uh, yeah, Azure, so all those from all those uh, possible options, the CA can be fetched. It can be from Ansible playbook, the engine can be fed with Ansible playbook, the user also can trigger Ansible engine. So, all these uh, the left side is the input, and the engine will work on this host or networking uh, devices. So, very simple architecture. Um, there are certain jargons in Ansible to understand. Inventory. Inventory is nothing but the list of machines which we are going to execute our code on that particular entity. Variable um, 
the common understanding only it can store some specific individual specific data under particular block here it's uh, we can define variable for ci base also we can pass in a group also there are multiple possible places to include a variable so in the subsequent videos we'll be uh, going through with all this uh, stuff module list of tasks related to an entity for example if i am going to work with one particular network device or one particular type of file i can configure that as a module and um, use it in ansible the the advantage is if i want to utilize this particular chunk of code in some other playbook i can simply include this module in that also task task will be a um, sub item of module a module can have multiple tasks with relevant to cis with some conditional parameters and all those things facts facts is also a variable but this information will be gathered from the endpoint devices like our machines cis handlers this is a, like um, we can say purely exception handler it's just it's just a handler if there is any specific condition met this particular handlers will get called playbook yeah this is a top item playbook um, is a plain yaml file it includes list of plays plays can have a list of tasks so the top item would be playbook okay if i want to use ansible should i learn something new yes in some specific scenarios if there is any completely new and unique scenario which is not available in github you have to code it if you want to customize the existing module you have to code it if you want a such a different behavior in the standard module to suit with your customer needs you have to customize it if you want to simply reuse the existing modules and if you just want to uh, learn the playbook execution flow and modify it absolutely you don't need to learn anything new just, just simple understanding of how the playbook works and all so we have just seen uh, we have to learn something new in some specific scenarios so what to learn simple basics of python and how to install these are the different way of installing if i have a rhl machine i can install from yum package manager if i have a debian based machine i can install from apt-get through pip also we can install and uh, once we have installed using these three ways any one of these three ways we can verify using ansible double hyphen version it will give you the what what the version you have installed using these possible ways and what is the prerequisites to set up um, ansible there is two uh, components one is a control node the another is a managed node control node is like um, ansible uh, server kind of thing here we have a linux we need a linux machine and uh, ansible server can be installed in uh, windows machine also we need python 2.6 or 7 for ansible 2.0 there is a uh, ansible 2.2 out there uh, as a technique tech review for python 3 also for managed node we need a connectivity through ssh or winaram uh, to push the code in the target machine uh, ansible will use sftp if not available we can configure uh, scp protocol also to push the scripts um, what are the uh, various way of executing the commands in ansible ad hoc commands also uh, used can be used a string simple state one line command ansible all and uh, hyphen m means module is ping hyphen u is uh, act as the user admin and hyphen sudo means execute the command as a sudo so likewise we can uh, write a simple straight command also that that is that will be called as i have command playbook ran ansible hyphen playbook install underscore apache dot yml this is the playbook name so we have to use the command ansible hyphen playbook to run the playbook ansible tower here we can access through gui another way of accessing ansible is test api few and have commands i have given here to say hi to check the ping status of uh, all the inventory machines reboot all the machines in a uh, in parallel 
so 120 threads can be executed parallelly folks and uh, to make them httpd service uh, in the state in the started state so these are all the possible simple uh, uh, one line commands which we can get in our hands to and the remaining would be that's the end of presentation the remaining we can start from uh, we can start straight from the terminal i have given the url so you can go to this github is the official url for a simple and medium level and civil playbooks you can go and uh, explore further that's it for this video i'll meet you guys in the next video with black and white screen thank you